Hey guys, Ken here and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you some of my oil painting materials. These are the things that I always use whenever I do my oil paintings. Okay, so this is an overview. This clip is an overview of what I what are the brands that I always use. Okay, so for the first one that I will be showing you, these are the biggest tube of paints that I have. So this is a 170ml tubes of oil paints which has the Marie's brand from China. So I have here my first color. This is a burnt sienna. What I love about Marie's is that they show the light fastness and the pigment code that is used for the paints and it gives us the confidence that it um that the painting that you did using these paints are um long lasting and also um they also have a vibrant colors they also have the good they also have a good consistency as well and also with, um, this is very important for the amateur artist like me just to invest with a cheap cheap but good quality oil paints so this third one this is a lemon yellow so right here I am taking off the cap and I am showing you that the lemon yellow there is very vibrant Okay, so the next one right here is the 50ml tubes that I have the same brand, which is the Marie's brand still. So I have here my Cerulean Blue, my Naples Yellow, my um, Viridian. I also have here the Scarlet, the Sap Green, the Burnt Umber. Okay, I also have there the Titanium White. And these colors that I picked this is because I am a landscape artist which means that I always paint uh, landscapes I always paint nature themes and but sometimes I also paint portraits so that's why I have many greens right there I also have the viridian and the sap green and I also have many blues Okay. okay, so the last one right there are my smallest tube of paints. I have the 21 ml tubes, the same brand still. It's a Marie's brand from China. So I have there my sap green, my little sap green. And I also have the ultramarine blue and the yellow ochre. Okay, so the next brand that I am showing you is a Montmartre brand of oil paints, the same um, from China. So this brand, I do not use it very often, but I still use it up to this time. But I am more into the Marie's brand, but still I am showing you this. So it also have has the light fastness and the code that is used for the paint as well and also this is um big as well it has a 100 ml tubes now let's move on to the oil mediums so the medium is very important for oil painting as well because it helps you to um, cover a big coverage for your painting especially if you are painting a big surface and also these mediums um, they also provide a more easy way to blend your colors so the first one that I 
always use is the Winter and Newton Oil Color Sand Sodor. Okay, so this is a 250ml. And I also have my um, Refined Linseed Oil. This is a 75ml. So both of these I always use whenever I have oil painting. And I also um, use this one for my commissions as well. And also be careful when you are using these um, because it um, releases fumes. But this brand have a lesser odor so it's just okay. But always make sure when you are painting you have to have a well ventilated area so that you will not inhale the toxic fumes. So the next one here is the palette knife. So this is the palette knife. My first and first ever palette knife that I always use um, when I started my oil painting journey. <laughs> okay, so this is very old now. This is almost almost or kinda kinda like um two years more or less. <laughs> So this one is very old as you can see on the video. So um, this palette knife is used to mix your paints whenever you are mixing one or one to two paints or more. So palette knife is very important in oil painting. Okay, so the next one right here is the varnish, the same brand, Marie's brand. So this is a this is used whenever your oil painting is dry make sure the oil painting is dry before you will apply this one so the varnish will make your painting to have more contrast more um, lively feeling okay so this this make sure you will apply this whenever when your painting is dry and the painting will be dry it, it will be fully dry more or less um seven months or seven months to one year okay now let's move on to the brushes i have here my home depot brushes these are very cheap brushes but they very well uh, they work very well with my paintings so i use this big flat brushes for the bigger areas for the background when I am doing portraits and also I use this for priming my canvas before starting a piece so it has the big one and the, a little bit smaller one okay and then I also have my um, long handle brushes I have here my bristle brush and my nylon brushes so both work very well with my painting um, when I am doing my um, initial sketch or initial um, my underpainting I use my round bristle brush and then when I am painting over with the next layers, I am using my nylon brushes. So I use two different brushes with my painting. I use the long handle and the short handle ones. And when I am using my long handle ones, I use this whenever I am doing the first phase of my paintings. And I am doing I am using the short handle ones for my detailed parts. So I have here my small flats as well. And for now I am just using two diff uh two types of brushes. I have um the flat brush and the round ones. So I am um, soon maybe I will try the filberts and also the dagger brushes as well or the angu uh, angular brushes. 
but these two types of brushes works well with me as of the moment okay now let's move on to the palette that i use so i'm sorry if there are paints with on my palette because i am still ongoing with a uh, with my big um big piece it is a koi fish painting so i recently used this one and i am still using this as of the moment so this is a big piece of glass and then i put a gray paper underneath so that i can see the value or the real color or the real glow of the color that's why i put gray paper underneath and also i have here my twin dippers with the leads lead so um i have here two wells okay so the first one i put right there my sanso door medium and the next one the other side i am putting there my linseed oil and also it is very important to have your rags right there it is very very helpful whenever you are doing a oil painting okay now so let's move on to the surface when i was still a beginner i used canvas pad just like these on the video so i use a canvas pad for me to practice and to get a feel of the oil paint and how it um how to use it so right there i have an a4 canvas pad you can also buy that one in your local art shops and it is pre-gessoed already so um but if you still want to put a gesso or the primer you can always feel free to put so right here um it is very it is very nice to have these um canvas pads because it will give you a space to practice and to take your time studying um, oil paints. And lastly, if you want to stretch your own canvas, you can always buy cheap um, canvas cloths and then stretch it on the wood panels or the wood frames that you have okay so that would be it thank you so much everyone for watching the video and i hope you have learned something with my oil painting material guide and i will try to leave a link in the description below for you to check it out by the way i bought all of these items mostly on shopee philippines and also on lazada philippines so I will try to leave a link where you can buy all of these paints and all of the materials as well. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed and please subscribe, like, and share this video so that it will reach um, the artists who are still struggling with the materials that they will be using and how to start oil painting. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, bye-bye.